Today we're talking about the new 2022 Harley-Davidson Sportster S and eight things you need to know including what I think is the biggest shortcoming. Hello everyone, I am Mike and welcome to New Bike Mike where I like to share information about new bikes that I find interesting. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this in the future then please remember to hit the subscribe. After all, it is free. The Harley-Davidson Sportster S is an all-new performance custom motorcycle designed to give the rider exhilarating performance backed by contemporary technology. The Sportster S is radically different styled motorcycle than the Sportsters of old. Most people tend to love it or well, let's just say not love it so much. I was fortunate enough to have done a short demo ride on this motorcycle back in September before they were delivered to dealers. I do believe its greatest attributes are the engine and technology, which are huge advances from the Evo powered Sportsters. 1. Engine The Sportster S is powered by the Revolution Max 1250T engine, a liquid cooled V twin tuned to make considerable torque at low RPM with a torque curve that stays flat through the power band and is designed to deliver strong acceleration from a start with robust power through the mid range. It has very respectable numbers like 121 horsepower. 94 foot-pounds of peak torque, and a 9500 RPM redline. This engine is the most compelling reason to me to buy a Sportster S. Many people think the Sportster S is the same power plant as the Pan America, just detuned for the Sportster S platform. In reality, the Revolution Max 12T engine is similar to the Revolution Max 1250 engine that powers the Harley-Davidson Pan America, but with key differences. The 1250T has a compression ratio of 12 to 1 instead of 13 to 1. Cylinder heads have smaller valves and port dimensions, and a different combustion chamber shape, which increases the velocity of flow through the combustion chamber at low RPM, and increases output which increases torque output at low and mid-range RPM, which is providing up to 10% more torque from the 3,000 to 6,000 RPM range. The 1250T pistons are shaped to match the combustion chamber dimensions of the cylinder head. The length and shape of the intake velocity stacks combined with the airbox volume are tuned to maximize performance across the engine's speed range. The camshaft profiles and variable valve timing phases are also designed differently to match the desired performance of this engine. Two. Clutch and Transmission The Revolution Max is a unitized powertrain, meaning that the engine and six-speed transmission are housed in a common case. The clutch is mechanically actuated with a large diameter cable for smooth, consistent disengagement and minimal drag. The clutch slipper function enables the rider to downshift without overspeeding the engine or slipping or hopping the rear wheel. 3. Chassis The powertrain is a stressed member of the motorcycle's chassis. This serves two purposes providing power and acting as a structural element of the chassis. By eliminating a traditional frame, this design significantly reduces motorcycle weight and results in a very stiff chassis. A front frame element, mid frame element, and tail section bolt directly to the powertrain. The rider realizes optimized performance due to a significant weight savings, a rigid chassis, and mass centralization. Four, suspension. The Sportster S model is equipped with fully adjustable premium front and rear suspension, with Showa 43mm inverted cartridge forks in the front and a Showa piggyback reservoir rear shock. Rear suspension features hydraulic preload adjustment using a convenient knob located on the left side of the motorcycle. While this may be premium suspension, it is still very firm and has very limited travel and is what I consider to be the biggest shortcoming on this bike. Front suspension has 3.6 inches of travel while the rear has a disappointing two inches of travel resulting in a very firm ride. While it is not terrible, it is a letdown when you look at how much performance and tech was put into the rest of this bike. I am not just basing this opinion on a spec sheet either. Remember, I have ridden this model. Five, brakes. Fitted premium Brembo braking components produce outstanding braking feel and performance. The single front brake features a new single Brembo radial monoblock four piston caliper with a 320 millimeter diameter disc. The rear brake is a single two piston Brembo caliper with a 260 millimeter diameter disc. This is an area where many people have criticized the Sportster S for only being outfitted with a single front disc brake. I felt the braking was good. Maybe not excellent, but very good at least. This braking system is actually a new design Brembo created specifically for the Sportster S. Six, ergonomics. Forward foot controls and a low handlebar put the Sportster S rider in an aggressive posture on the bike. Unladen seat height is 29.6 inches, 
low enough for most riders to get their feet down at a stop. Brake and clutch hand levers are adjustable for reach to best match the rider's hand size and preference. Mid controls are available from the parts and accessories catalog from Harley Davidson for riders that prefer a different riding position. I think the ergonomics are okay for a younger audience that don't mind the aggressive posture needed, but for many, it will limit riding to an afternoon cruise or short commute. If you don't intend to spend more than a few hours in the saddle each day, then this may not be an issue for you. But if you have back problems or some other physical disability, you may not be able to stand the aggressive stance at all. 7. Tech This is the next most compelling aspect of the Sportster S. Let's start with this new round 4 inch diameter TFT display screen that displays all the instrumentation and infotainment functions. All display functions are managed using buttons on the left and right hand control array when the motorcycle is at rest or when it is in motion. The screen is covered with a non-reflective glass to make it easier to view in most lighting conditions. The colors and the design of the display were selected to make the screen comfortable to view. We have a base screen display where a large digital speedometer is displayed in the center. Surrounded by an arching tachometer graph, indicators and morning lights appear on the top edge of the display. A space below the speedometer accommodates pop-ups for incoming phone calls and alerts such as low fuel, side stand down, or low temperature. There is also a bike status screen that the rider can select. This display option puts the bike status information in a prominent position on the screen with a smaller speedometer on the upper end of the screen. Status information includes engine temperature, oil pressure, battery voltage, diagnostic codes, and front and rear tire air pressure. Yes, you heard that right. The Sportster S has a proper TPMS built in. The display supports infotainment generated by the rider's Bluetooth equipped mobile device. The motorcycle does not have onboard infotainment and is not equipped with speakers. Most infotainment functions also require a Bluetooth headset and speakers worn within a helmet. Music and calls are handled by your mobile device and navigation is supplied by the Harley-Davidson app for iOS or Android, which must be downloaded into the rider's mobile device. When navigation is enabled, a rider may select a moving map display or turn-by-turn -turn map, either of which are displayed on the screen, assisted by audio instruction through the headset. Rider aids are a huge part of the new Sportster S. The systems are electronic and utilize the latest chassis control, electronic brake control, and powertrain technology. The Sportster S is equipped with a six-axis IMU that measures and reports the lean angles as it navigates a turn. While cornering, available grip for braking and accelerating is reduced. Cornering Enhanced Technologies takes this into account for optimal performance, intervenes differently when the motorcycle is leaned compared to when the motorcycle is upright. I don't want to bore you with too much details, but the system has cornering enhanced anti-lock braking system, cornering enhanced traction control system, cornering enhanced drag torque slip control system. The Sportster S offers selectable ride modes that electronically control the performance and characteristics of the motorcycle and the level of technology intervention. Three of the modes are pre-programmed while two additional modes may be customized by the owner. Each ride mode consists of a specific combination of power delivery, engine braking, ABS and traction control settings. The rider may use the mode button on the right hand of the handlebar to change the active ride mode while riding the motorcycle or when stopped. Road mode is intended for daily use. Road mode delivers a balanced performance. This mode offers less aggressive throttle response and less mid-range engine power than sport mode and provides a higher level of ABS and traction control intervention. In some markets, road mode is the default key-on mode for the Sportster S model. While in North America, the bike will always default to the ride mode that was selected at the last key-off event. In sport mode, the rider will experience the full performance potential of the motorcycle in a direct and precise manner, with full power and the quickest throttle response. Traction control is set to its lowest level of intervention and engine braking is increased. Rain mode is designed to give the rider greater confidence when riding in the rain or when traction is otherwise limited. The rain mode is also appropriate setting for riders building confidence as they become familiar with the motorcycle. Throttle response and power output is programmed to significantly restrain the rate of acceleration, engine braking is limited, and the highest levels of ABS and traction control intervention are selected. With two custom ride modes, the rider may create a set of performance characteristics to meet their personal preferences or for special situations. The Sportster S model is pre-wired for accessory heated hand grips for added comfort in cool weather and is equipped with two dedicated power points for heated riding gear. 
plus a USB-C port for charging a phone or other device. Cruise control and a proximity-based security system are standard equipment. 8. Pricing At the time of this announcement, the Sportster S was priced at $14,999 starting out. I know it's easy to have sticker shock at a $15,000 Sportster, but that price is competitive with the Indian FTR1200, which has similar performance specs, although a noticeably different design and better suspension. As much as we would love to see the Sportster S come in at a more favorable price, you then would have to wonder how well an entry-level softtail would fare with buyers knowing they offer less performance at a higher price. Don't forget to like the video. It really helps the channel grow and subscribe if you want to see more videos from New Bike Mike. Thanks guys. See you in the next one.